It's certainly not easy prepping for a lot of people around the holidays. Fortunately, the cocktail guru Jonathan Pogas has Pogash has your drinks covered and one that you can make in big batches this season. He makes us a pay close attention lemon cello spritz in this week's delicious drinks. Hey everyone, uh, Jonathan Pogash here from the Cocktail Guru. You may know me from such episodes of the road show as the Father's Day episode with my dad, Jeff, hashtag Papa Pogash. Uh, the Halloween episode where I dress up as ridiculous characters and um, have a jovial time with the crew over at the Roadshow and a lot of other Roadshow episodes. But um, it's Thanksgiving time and uh, it, I have a, a rare moment by myself here at home and I'm preparing. As you can see, I have lots going on here. I've got pears. I don't even know what I'm gonna be doing with pears. Um, cranberry sauce, stuffing. We usually make our own fresh stuffing. This is just a gluten-free thing. A graham cracker crust, peaches, light corn syrup, of course, for pecan pie. So many other things, but I just wanted to let you all know at home that it's okay. It's okay to feel stressed at this time of the year. And just so you know, if you're planning on having a cocktail, you can make a big batch of it and that will alleviate some pressure. So welcome to my kitchen here at home and I'm going to show you a low pressure cocktail that you can make in a big batch at home during the holidays. So let's just get started. This is uh, a Pellini Limoncello Spritz. You've seen me mix with Limoncello at times before. I wanted to show you another variation. One of the least favorite, or one of my favorite things is uh, Thanksgiving leftovers, and I cannot let any leftovers go to waste. And that's why I like using leftovers in, <laughs> that one was hard to open. Not a leftover, it's from scratch, it's brand new, but it could potentially be a leftover. This is cranberry sauce, and I'm going to add it to a pitcher here, a couple of really big, um, soup spoonfuls into my pitcher. Pellini Limoncello, of course, really nice, that fresh citrus flavor uh, directly into my pitcher. You can make this in a big uh, punch bowl if you'd like. Yeah, that's about as much as I need. If you want to spike it even more, you can add some uh, vodka, some rum, some gin. You can also make it non-alcoholic. Pellini makes this non-alcoholic limoncello. And I have some grapefruit soda that I'm going to add to this as well. And you can also top it off with some Prosecco, which is really nice. Now time for the ice, which is right over here. And we'll just fill that all the way to the top. Give it a little bit of a stir. Look at that, folks. Yum. Again, just using some basic Thanksgiving leftovers, making it low key, stress free. And we just pour it into these really fun holiday glasses and a little garnish of some fresh rosemary just to top it off. I am of course by myself at home here, so maybe I'll just enjoy both of these. They're super tiny, super small. Safe, happy holidays to you and yours. Thanksgiving, of course, we're coming up on the Christmas holiday. All of the decorations are starting to come up uh, quicker and quicker from year to year, but cheers. Follow me on social, follow us on the podcast that I do with my dad, The Cocktail Guru Show, and cheers. Let me give it a little bit of a taste. Ah, oh, so good. Cheers. Thank you, Jonathan. Pretty good looking kitchen right there. I gotta say, he's never invited us over. You can find this Lemoncello Spritz and of course the recipes for other of the Cocktail Guru's creations over at roadshow.com.